I supported Atiku in 2007. It is time for him to endorse me. To number, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel to get notified when we post hot juicy news update. Please click on the notification bell. Asking for payback, the All Progressive Congress candidate asks Mr. Bubaka to quit campaigning and endorse him. Bola Tenembo, the presidential candidate of the All Progressives Congress, AEPC, has called on the People's Democratic Party's candidate, Atiku Abubaka, to endorse him for the 2023 presidential election and not compete with him. If a Malaga's governor, Mr. Tenembo, said this, said his appeal for endorsement was because he had once supported the People's Democratic Party presidential candidate for the same position in 2007. It is payback time. Let Atiku Abubakar endorse me instead of campaigning in Kaduna. I supported him in 2007. Mr. Turumbu said on Monday at the interactive session with the Arawa Joint Committee held at the Arawa House in Kaduna. Mr. Turumbu and Abubakar among the 18 presidential candidates jostling for the country's top political seat in the 2023 general elections. In 2007, Mr. Bubaka, as vice president, had fallen out with former president Olusheko Basanjo while trying to succeed him and in opposition to the latest alleged third term agenda. The disagreement later forced by Mr. Bubaka to defect from the People's Democratic Party to the Action Congress AEC at the time, founded by Mr. Tenbu and others as an opposition party. With Mr. Tenbu's support and resources, Mr. Bubaka later became the presidential candidate of the AC but lost the 2007 election to PDP's Omo, Omaru Musa Yaradua. Mr. Bubaka came third while Muhammad Buhari of the then All Nigerian People's Party, ANPP, came second. Speaking further, Mr. Tenembo lashed out at the People's Democratic Party PDP presidential candidate, accusing him of playing ethnic politics ahead of the next year's election. He said Mr. Abubakar, who has started his campaign from the southern region, was now suggesting to northerners that the votes of the south do not matter to him. You, Atiku, started from you and now ended up in Kaduna and you're speaking to the north? That you're the right candidate for the north? How do you reconcile that? You've lost the election, the All Progressive Congress candidate said. On Saturday, Mr. Bubaka stuck his foot in his mouth when he declared that the North should shun Southern candidates in the next year's presidential election. What the average Northern needs is somebody who is from the North and also understands that part of the country and has been able to build bridges across the country. This is what the Northern needs. He doesn't need a Yoruba or Igbo candidate. I stand before you as a pan Nigerian of Northern origin. He had told a group of Northern political leaders under the Arawa Joint Committee at Arawa House, Kaduna. The remark captured in video footage continues to elicit widespread condemnation and angry reactions from Nigeria, especially critics from the Southern region. Mr. Bubaka's two main rivals, Mrs. Tunubu and Peter B of the Labour Party, are Yoruba and Igbo respectively from the southern part of the country. Huh. Anyway, when I used to tell the people that um, uh, Mr. Tenumbu does pay it forward, it is paid forward he does. If he did something, he will do for you. But him doing something for you does not mean pay he has given you, he has dashed you, or it's not like that. I hope you're understanding me. It's a good thing, or it's a very good way to network. Him doing something for you is, you will give me back. I borrow you. I lend you, Abi. <laughs> because Buhari came out too and did the same thing for, I mean to Buhari, telling him that, oh, God, if you wish you make me a presidential candidate, don't play this politics, you want to play with me. Now he's coming at Fatiko. To the best of my knowledge, he's a good man. He's a generous man, but his generosity, na boro in the boro. When you have finished using it, he will demand for that help from you. And you must give it to him to avoid falling out with him. <laughs> Quite interesting. 
Your kindness, generosity, and above all your love towards everyone that comes across the races you are above other contestant. May you succeed our incoming president of Federal Republic of Nigeria come next year by God's grace. Please be informed that you will have the opportunity to prefer for tomorrow from today, just as I see what Jubala made him have done in the past. Today, he makes the job easier for us. May we have good references that will break all protocols for us to succeed, even when we have forgotten. Like I said, what I see to Nobu is this. He uses the opportunity he has, that he has resources and people. Tumbo started doing this because he knows say tomorrow he will need the person for the future. He doesn't, like I said, he doesn't do give, especially when it comes to politicians. Anything, anything will make you, he help you when you be electorate. You do not in politics. My sister and my brother, you will return the help when you become a politician <laughs> okay this is the this is true but both of you will not win sorry but we need change of government new hands for a new nigeria p2b of the way if i say this man has been one of those behind the downfall of this country they will ask me to bring my head now you see okay um i don't quite agree oh. please listen to me once upon a time, when Tirumbu was, you know, but something just, something just struck me. I, I wanted to say, Tirumbu was the father of democracy. He fought for democracy. That's, he fought for, against Obasanjo's thought and beat. That's what I'm saying. But now, with all this thing that happened, you know, it become clear that he was not helping because he wanted to help. He was helping because him no say he go, he go need this particular he need to help so that on a day like this he go remind them. I mean it just split us in my head. I don't know, but sincerely, Tunubu has been very good to a lot of people. And that was how he was able to build this network. But by being good, I mean he has been able to assist people. And when he need your help, if you no good feed do one for him, I be like say you're not go fall out, sha. Okay. All that he said here is not my business, but you see, okay. Um, if not for corruption and a state of moral decadence, why should he even be contesting for a presidential position? Exactly. Look, to um, Atiku himself, let us remove sentiment. A northerner is on the seat of the presidency, and a northerner is also contesting for. Let us put uh, equity, fairness, and justice. Atiku is not supposed to be anywhere near any political party contesting. In fact, he's supposed to be there as just somebody who's going to be chairing the southern candidate. But unfortunately, he's not. The same thing with Tunubu. Tunubu is supposed to be at his house, enjoying, having time, good time with his grandchildren and children. As person will not give them that time when they grew up in the, you know, in the face, this one, the face tower. But no, it is two people, both Atiku and Tunubu. I said it before, they don't have the moral.